FOX 12 INVESTIGATE STORY HAS PROMPTED ACTION FROM ONE FEDERAL LAWMAKER. LAST MONTH, THE FOX 12 INVESTIGATES TEAM SHOWED THE POTENTIALLY DEADLY EFFECTS OF BLOCKED RAILROAD CROSSINGS IN SCAMANIA COUNTY. FOX 12 INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER ADRIAN THOMAS IS HERE WITH AN UPDATE. Back in May, we showed you how one Skamania County woman barely made it to the hospital when experiencing a medical emergency due to a freight train blocking first responders to her home. After our story aired, Congresswoman Marie Glusenkamp Perez, whose districts include Stevenson and Skamania County, wrote a letter to the CEO of BNSF Railway. The Congresswoman is calling for the freight company to take action to avoid these kinds of problems in the future. Joyce Shapiro, a resident of a small community called Skamania Landing in Stevenson, started experiencing sudden internal bleeding back in February and immediately called 911. What should have been a minutes-long response by ambulances due to the proximity of a fire station being only half a mile away from her home turned into a life-or-death situation. This was due to a BNSF train sitting idly on the tracks to allow another train to pass. In this instance, Shapiro says the freight train made it impossible for the ambulance to use one of two entrances to Skamania Landing that are separated from the rest of town by train tracks. 911 dispatch records show ambulances couldn't reach Shapiro for 90 agonizing minutes. She was later told at the hospital that she was on the cusp of having a heart attack. Fox 12 Investigates took these concerns to Congresswoman Marie Glusenkamp Perez because railroads in the United States are federally regulated. After our story aired last month, Glusenkamp Perez wrote to the CEO of BNSF asking for change. The Congresswoman released the letter publicly on Monday, which reads in part, quote, My constituent, her family, and friends waited in agony for the train to move so she could get the medical attention she desperately needed. It is critical that a reasonable solution is developed to ensure that these residents have access to medical care without delay. If the trains must be stopped for a longer period, all efforts should be made to keep one of the access points open. In our first story, we asked Representative Glusenkamp Perez what power, if any, Congress may have over this issue. Should there be a federal law or regulation that limits how long trains can be blocked at crossings or what time of day? trains can stop at crossings. According to the Supreme Court, only the feds have the right to engage in this lawmaking. And so I think it's important that if Congress isn't going to bring it up, and like, let's be candid, this Congress has not been very proactive on a lot of issues that I care about that affect rural communities. We need to empower more local authorities to come to a table and get a good outcome for our communities. Also in the letter to BNSF CEO, Glusenkamp Perez said her staff is also willing to help connect Skamania Landing's Homeowners Association to BNSF so the freight company can better understand the situation. In response to Representative Glusenkamp Perez's letter to the BNSF CEO, a spokesperson for the company sent us a statement saying that BNSF stands ready to work with the local community on possible solutions. The statement also stressed that the safest solution is for local governments to work with community members to install new infrastructure or expand access roads to connect to an existing overpass over the train tracks. The Congresswoman's full letter, can, or full letter to BNSF can be seen on kptv.com. In studio, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.